We're gonna go through an ankle dorsiflexion stretch with Pales Rails to improve ankle dorsiflexion. So Ryan's here to demonstrate. He is going to put his foot up here. This allows us to get a lot of extra force from our body to really force ourselves into this dorsiflexion stretch. So what we are looking to do is push this knee as far over his toes as he can. So get your back foot back a little bit. You're supporting yourself here and your back is back leg is back there so you can have a little bit of support and really drive your uh, body weight over your knee to push that over into as much dorsiflexion as you can. Important to remember that your heel stays on the ground, otherwise you're just kind of pushing yourself into a position and you're not really getting any more dorsiflexion, <laughs> you're cheating. So make sure your knee kind of goes in line with your third toe so that it's not too far in or out. Find that stretch in the back of the heel. So you're looking for a stretch all along your soleus gastroc muscle. You're not really stretching the gastroc here because the knee's bent, but all the way down into your Achilles tendon and your heel. What we are looking to avoid sensation-wise in this stretch is any sensation in the front of the shin. That is a closing angle joint pain and we do not wanna push into that. That's not good sensations. So make sure there's nothing in the front of the ankle. Find that position. Maneuver your body around a little if you need to to find that good stretch in the back of the heel. And you're gonna hold this for a minute and a half to two minutes. Two minutes is optimal. So as you are holding the stretch, you are deep breathing, nice and relaxed, trying to sink into a little more stretch as you do this. Once that two minutes is up, you're going to start the pales contractions. Pales contractions are gonna be contracting all the stuff you are just stretching. So Ryan's first going to inhale in through his nose, trap some air into his abdomen, grip the, the bench or the stool here as hard as you can, and start to push his foot down into the ground like this. You're going to imagine like what you do when you push um, on a gas pedal in the car. Same position here, you're not just driving the leg down with your hip and knee, you're actually pushing the foot down to light up and contract all of this stuff back here. He is going to start lightly, so going to build up more pressure and then more. We are now at 75% muscle contraction. He is gonna go a little bit more to 100 and he is going to sustain that contraction for 30 seconds. So don't back off. When you get to that 100, really keep driving that tension. It is not easy, but it should be hard, but only 30 seconds. Once that's done, he is going to start to relax, ramp back down, let those muscles kind of relax, but he is not backing out of the stretch. The last part is the rails contraction. Rails contraction is going to be all of this stuff on the opposite side of where you are contracting. You're going to think about pulling your shin over your foot, foot towards your shin, and he is going to start contracting, a light contraction, build up that pressure more, a little bit more, and even more, and he is going to sustain that now for 30 seconds at 100% muscle contraction. So you should feel all of this stuff contracting. He's really trying to pull the shin over his foot, foot towards the shin, kind of pulling yourself into a deeper stretch. When those 30 seconds are up, he is again going to ramp back down and then come out of that stretch nice and easy. Give your body a break, it just went through a lot of stretching. And that is the end of ankle dorsiflexion stretch with pails and rails.